Hi there YouTube. Thank you for visiting SDC Canada. It's Sebastian here again. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at uh, doing a VLOOKUP function for a spreadsheet that we have here um, created. What you need to do is you need to actually download this file from below. Make sure you have it open before you start this video or start to try and do the things that we're doing in this video. It would be crazy to have you recreate this entire spreadsheet from scratch. So we've provided the download below. What you need to understand about VLOOKUP is that it has an ability to analyze a specific cell and compare it to a table that you would design uh, on your own. And when it compares that value with the values on that table, it can then return a result. What we have here is we have a spreadsheet that has a whole bunch of totals over here that relate to all kinds of different information. This here is uh, a spreadsheet of accounting uh, so associates, their, their billing summary, and you've got all kinds of things such as file number, client ID, the date. You also have area, billable hours, rate, and total. There's all kinds of things happening on this spreadsheet. And later videos, we will use the same spreadsheet to do different things. Today, what we want to do, though, is we want to fill in column K, which is the collections column. In this column, we want to put a collections letter based on the table that we've designed over here on the right. Now, I didn't build the table with you in this video, but I will explain to, to you how it is done. Basically, we want to do a collections table based on a range. Basically, what this says is that if this total were to fall between 0 and 100, it would give us a ranking of letter A. And if it fell, this total, between 100 and 200, it would give us a rating or a ranking of B. And as you can see, all the way through, we've got these ranges. So 0 between 100, 100 to 200, and so on and so forth. Anything that is 500 or greater will return a ranking of letter F. Basically, we want to simplify putting in a ranking for each one of these rows by using this VLOOKUP table. If I scroll down, you'll notice that this information continues down for like 104 rows. To sit there and say, okay, where does it fall on the table and manually enter the ranking letter would be ridiculous. We can do this really quickly using the VLOOKUP function. We can put it into this cell right here, double click it, 104 rows done within like five minutes. Now, obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer because I'm explaining it to you. But once you understand how this works, the mechanics of how this function works, you could be a pro at it within a couple of minutes. The first step here that we need to do is we need to select the, the cell in which we want the first ranking to go into. In this case, we are dealing with K5. So basically here, K5 is the cell in which we want to have the result. The cell that we want to analyze is the total to the left, which is, in this case, J5. Once you have the cell active in which you want your result, you then go to the FX button to find the VLOOKUP function. Now, the VLOOKUP function shows up in my search as the most recently used function, as you can see right here. If it's not there for you, then you need to go up in here where it says search, and you need to type in V lookup. Once you uh, type in VLOOKUP here, you must click Go. When you click Go, it should then narrow down all your functions to show you VLOOKUP at the very top. Make sure it's selected. It's in blue, as you can see here. And then click OK. Once you click OK, you're going to get the dialog box. Now, the dialog box is asking you for some very specific information. The first thing it's asking you for is, what is the value? What is the value that you want to analyze? Where is it? Well, basically, the value singular, as you can see, singular, is our total that is found in G4. Or sorry, J4, I apologize, J4. So, or J5. Full of corrections today. It is actually in J5. And you'll notice that it is here, and you'll see the total is 337.5, which is exactly what we're looking at. 
Where things get tricky is right here. A lot of people get confused. What is this table array that it is asking for? Well, the table array that it's asking for is actually located right here, which is O2 to P8 to P7. So O2 to P7. What you need to do immediately is to press the F4 function key. So the function 4 key. Once you've done that, you'll notice that your range, your table array, is going to be absolute. So 0 to, or so O2 to P7. And you'll see the dollar signs, which represent that this table is absolute. Because what's going to happen is when you drag down your formula or double click the formula result, you want that table to stay intact. You do not want it to change to O3 or P8 or any of that stuff. So right now it's absolute. And the next thing that it's asking for is what is the column index number? A lot of people get confused. They say, well, okay, I want the letter from column P. So they think it's column P, but it's not. Basically what this is saying is, in your table, how many columns are there? Well, in our table we've got one column and two columns. Where is the letter or the ranking that you want to put into the cell? Well, this is column one and this is column two. Therefore, what this is saying is, what is the column number? Well, it is column number two. What you'll notice here is the formula result is going to be letter D. You should quickly look at your total, 337, and look at the table. Okay, so between 300 and 400 will result in a D. That is perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. The next thing it's asking for is the range lookup. It is important to understand what this is meaning. It is saying that the range lookup is a logical value to find the closest match in the first column sorted in ascending order. Very important. If you haven't noticed already, our numbers are ascending. So from the lowest to the highest, which is fine. But the second part of this is the most important. It says that you will find the closest match if you leave this empty. If you want an exact match, you would put false. So in the case that you wanted the number here in total to match exactly the number in the table, you would want the word false. For this example, that's not important. We want a range. We want any number from 0 to 100 to give us an A. From 100 to 200 to give us a B. So this is left blank because we need a range. We click OK. And as you can see, our collections letter is D. If you did this formula properly and you use the absolutes for the table array, you should then be able to go to the bottom right corner of the result and either double click it or drag it down to the bottom. I personally like to double click it, so I'm going to do that. There you go. So what we have now is we have all the letters ready to go. All the rankings are proper. As you can see, they go all the way down and all the analysis has been done for us. So that is how you do a VLOOKUP. It's a very basic VLOOKUP, but it works nonetheless and it is great. That concludes this video here. We are only doing VLOOKUP. Again, if you have any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions or comments, please leave them below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you again for watching this video and uh, coming to the SDC Canada channel. Please subscribe. Have a good day. Take